let's talk for a minute today about air compressors, more specifically the fittings for air compressors. Now, probably just about every one of you has seen a fitting somewhat like this, maybe like this, or this, or this, or this, or... There's so many fittings out there, isn't there? How do you know which one's the best? How do you know which one's going to work for what you need it to do? Well, I'll share with you a few of my findings and where you can scrimp and save a little bit and which tools it's better to go for a better fitting on. A good share of them are going to be similar to what's on my tire chuck here. That kind of shape, fairly small, a hole in the end. Now, you might go to Harbor Freight or somewhere, pick up ones like this blue one. Notice it's the same size hole in the end, basically the same fitting, except I believe this one is aluminum, it's a lot lighter. Um, and you may also notice that the hole is not drilled anywhere near the center. It's way off, almost coming through the top edge of this. Two that I'm more interested in um, showing you the difference of is the Milton S217 and the Milton S210. Now the 210 is your standard one like I showed you. Like the same as is these and all of these. It's going to be roughly the same as either one of these. I'm not sure. Let's see this one. I think it I think this is the actual Milton one with that kind of shape. Now the 217, if you compare it, you notice 217, this one, is much bigger around. It becomes very evident in that kind of a view where you can see the actual diameter of the inside of it. Now it's still the same quarter inch pipe thread on this end, but you have a lot more area. Look at that, it's almost double the size. Comparing it in person, you would almost think that this one could fit inside of that. And it's, it's awful close. And take a look at the design of this. You take this and you just push it in. It locks. When you want to take it off, you don't have to hold it back. And check this out. Here's the other style locks in and it doesn't leak. These things work really nice. Then you take your cheapy Harbor Freight one. Works with that too. And this one that came with my cheapy air compressor tool set. Now I'm pretty sure this one won't, but just for that one won't lock in. It tries and almost would, but it'll pull back out. So the actual specifications for the 210 style, the smaller style that's cheaper, you will get 40 SCFM is the max flow, whereas with the 217, the larger style comparatively, you can get 74 CFM. That's almost double. If you're blowing up tires, it doesn't matter. Go with the lower flow, go for the cheap end. As you can see, I have the cheap end on here. In an event that you have something like an impact, a higher flow end will make a noticeable difference. Um, I know just in my own unscientific tests, you can feel a difference with things like an impact or an air chisel or like a DA sand or something like that, you will notice the tool feels more powerful. So is it worth it for the difference in price? Because you can get a pack of these cheap 210s, which are still a great end. But you can get a pack of these that comes with, I believe, two female sides and eight or ten of the male ends for like 16 bucks or something like that. It's not a lot. Whereas buying the 
um, 217s, the high flow ends, they'll cost you more like 20 bucks for, I think it's one female and four males. You get a lot less fittings for about the same price. So, is it worth it? In my mind, there's applications that it's worth it. Like, I have one of these high flow ends on the end of my hose from coming from my air compressor so that whatever I plug in, I can plug in a high flow and I get the high flow benefits. I can plug in a lower flow and I don't lose anything from that. So there's definitely benefits and advantages. So I'll have the links down below in the description. So check it out and uh, make your decision wisely. Thanks for watching.